everyone, Tommy from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me on today's video. Now, I've been running around the country the last couple of weeks doing a bit of training, doing a bit of project work, and it's come up a couple of times recently about adding custom user profiles inside Advanced Steel. Now, what you see on the screen here is just a section I've made up. There's nothing special about it, but in, in reality, in real world terms, it might be a... Um, uh, custom aluminium section, it might be something that you need to fabricate uh, and use over and over again. So again, it's just up to you wherever you get it from, as long as you can get it into AutoCAD, then we can um, reuse it. So inside Event Steel, inside a uh, 2020 version, if you click on the extended modeling tab in the ribbon, there's a user section panel here. And you basically start from this top button here, which sets up the layers. And these are the functions, so doing polylines or circles or text. Uh, and these are the uh, reference axis buttons, the coordinate system. So this is for when you place the users, uh, sorry, the UCS app object. We generate the selected section and we also uh, do individual sections or do all of them. So I'm only going to do one today. So if we start from the top, you can see that command doesn't actually do anything other than set up the hype frame layer. So we start from that and we go to do just a rectangle. Okay, and then I do the next command, which is the exact, uh, sorry, which is the standard outer contour. So from here, you don't need to do the the, the curves or the fillets or anything on that section. So this is when uh, it's viewed in standard mode inside the model. You'll get this shape here. Okay, and then we need to do the same for the inner. And that is just going to be just a basic rectangle. Okay, and then I'm going to do my exact outer. Same thing except we do include the fillets this time. So if I, as I come around this pan, uh, this profile, I do A for arc, and then go back to L for line, A for arc, L for line, and then I go around, and just basically follow that uh, profile that I'd drawn in AutoCAD earlier. And then we go line, 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 and then close it. So that's our exact outer. And then we do our exact inner. So again, same thing, polyline, arc, line, arc, line, arc, line, arc. And that's it. Okay. Now I'm just going to move you can see as I move them out that they're all on different layers. Okay, and this is my original AutoCAD down the bottom here. So I'm just going to move these back around. You won't necessarily have to do this when you're doing it yourself. Just fix this one up a little bit. So I'm just going to place this back in the center of where it was. Okay, and then do the same thing with that inner profile. Is move that back up into where it needs to live. Okay. I can just delete my old profile there for a second. So we've got the outer frame, and we've got our standard uh, outer polyline for the section, we've got the exact outer section, and then we've got the standard inner and the exact inner there as well. So then we do the last two, so this is the section class, and this is just text. Might be a bit hard to see on the screen, but it does say YouTube sample. So this is kind of the, uh, the, the main part 
the heading, I guess, of um, where it lives in, inside the database. And then we're going to do the actual name of the profile. And I'll just call it Tom Section 1. Okay, so this will be the, the grouping name and this will be the individual name. So if I had two of these, this would st stay, stay the same and then this would change. Okay, and then we add a coordinate system. So I'm going to stick it on the end here. So this is for when, uh, like I said, the object at UCS. And then we also add in our reference axes. So these will also be dependent on where you want them. So obviously, you know, this one will probably be more in line here and this one will be in the middle here. But just for for time purposes here, I'm just going to add a few of them. Okay, and oh, let's do the other ones while I'm here. And the middle, in between two points of here and here. not technically right but close enough so now I can generate the selected section so I just like to put a window around everything and then what it'll do it'll add it to the database so to show that it works if I switch to an isometric mode and then we draw a user section so if I go other sections okay there's the, the default, but we can come in here and go to all and then go other profiles and then go user section. Uh, where did I put it? YouTube sample, there it is, and Tom section one. Okay, so now you can see there's that profile and if I double click on it and go to display type and go to exact, you can see it puts the curves in. Okay, and we can treat it like any other uh, beam or column or whatever you're, you're using this for, window frame, whatever it might be. <coughs> Excuse me. So in a nutshell, that's how you create user sections. Please let me know in the comments below if you've got any questions about it, if you need me to do any follow other follow-up videos. But uh, like I do for every video, thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. But please do subscribe to my channel and check with me, uh, hopefully on a more semi-regular basis now that we come into the tail end of the year. I'll get some more videos up uh, in the coming weeks and uh, talking about things like Plant 3D, uh, Advanced Steel, Revit, Infoworks, Steel 3D, even uh, Vanilla AutoCAD. So again, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you soon for some more videos. See you later.